On April 18, parents of Nida movement actors held a press conference at the Press Center of the Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety. Parents of arrested actors are starting open-ended hunger strike on April 20, demanding release of all prisoners. It was a protest of parents and protest against a prosecutor who requested length of prison sentences for their sons. The action will be held at the headquarters apartment of the Musawat Party. This way, they will demonstrate solidarity with the actors who had already started hunger strike at the investigation facility on April 17. Mother of accused Zaur Gurbanov, Sakina Gurbanova, noted that the prosecutor Nemat Alazov immediately gave the final speech without requiring any preparation time. The prosecutor reiterated the same indictment word by word which was read half a year ago at the beginning of the process. This means that during the trial that has been lasting for months, the court didn't consider arguments of defense side and refutation of lawyers were meaningless, said Gurbanova. Gurbanova also added that even if the accused committed the alleged crimes, the punishment required by the prosecutor was very severe. Mother of Rashadet Akhundov Metanet Akhundov finds charges filed against them and the portrayal of hooliganism groundless as they peacefully protested deaths of soldiers. Ibrahim Novruzlu, father of Shahin Novruzlu, pointed out that falsification of criminal case was clear. Musawat party board member, former prisoner at trial Abbasla's mother, Bashkhanum Abbasla, said she would also join the Nida actors' hunger strike. In her view, authorities arrest young actors because they are afraid of them. Azir Gassamu, member of Real Movement Board, noted that authorities persecute Nida actors because they want to see Azerbaijan different, without corruption, appropriation of national wealth, and education without problems. Azir Gassamu suggested consolidating efforts to resist repressions and establishing an organization committee on the preparation of protests to defend Nida actors and other political prisoners. Ulva Hassan, a member of Nida Administrative Board, in his turn noted that protest actions were prepared in different formats, including protests on social network. Besides, Amnesty International has launched a campaign on the internet to collect signatures for an appeal demanding release of Nida activists.